So we're going to play a game called Steal the Spines from the Hedgehog. It's a great game for groups of up to about 16 people. Uh, any age can play and it drops the group into a real quiet and slower pace. So it's a really helpful game for changing the energy of a group. For this game, we imagine that there is a hedgehog with magical spines and this hedgehog might be hibernating at this time of year and here it is, we've made it out of leaf litter and stuck little sticks in for the spines. The hedgehog will have a blindfold guard and children or participants will creep in as quietly as they can try and take a spine out of the hedgehog without being detected and creep back out to their starting point. The blindfold guard will be diligently listening to guard anyone from stealing spines from the hedgehog. They'll have a, a bandana on over their eyes and whenever they hear a sound they'll point directly to it. They will not waver and point randomly at, at wide areas because this is ineffective and unclear. Um, because there may be multiple players coming in from a similar direction, it's very, very helpful to have a facilitator of this game sat behind the blind guard and being able to look down the line of sight from where they're pointing to say if it's a hit or a miss. The game can be played upright using fox walking the stealth movement of um, placing your foot lightly on the earth where there's another video explaining that in more detail. It can also be played more free form where children or players are sneaking in on all fours and such like. A variation that's really fun in hot weather is for the blind guard to have a small and not particularly powerful water pistol and as somebody's coming in they would squirt where they hear a sound and the person either gets wet or they don't. If they do they would go back out to start again. You can also have it that they sit in, in position and wait until they're invited to move again. Top tips for this game. Whenever we play this with groups who are familiar with it, unless you tell them not to, the children or adults will often try and clear a path in the leaf litter to create a quieter track for them to come in on. This defeats some of the aims of the game. Um, so we'll remind them not to do that. You can look out for that one. Another thing is as they're coming in they might be tempted to throw a stick or a chestnut or something to make a disturbance elsewhere. We also discourage this and we um, really highlight the honour of having really great skill and actually if you are skilled enough to stalk in or stealth move in, take a spine and stealth move back out um, successfully without being detected that you get a nature wish to honour your skill level and that might be a wish that will come true at some point in your life but we we cannot say when all in the good time of nature in terms of the aims and values of this game it's a really effective game at slowing people down and bringing in a focus and a real intentional and attentive movement. Um, it's excellent for expanding the sense of hearing and the, the senses of proprioception and balance. 
it's really great one to utilize and practice fox walking with so we often will teach fox walking just before playing this game and the children or adults playing can then put it into practice straight away and there's a need within this game to do that so you've seen the game being played that's still the spines from the hedgehog and hope you have a lot of fun with it